I am honored by your visit. Let me show you our assembly line. First, sheets of sheer synthetic sheepskin are slid into several kicky sack shoe shapes and shapely shoe sizes by six sitting sheet slitters. I only see five sitting sheet slitters. The sixth sitting sheet slitters sick. His son Sammy subbing till the six sixth sitting sheet slitters back sitting pretty. You're not the sheet slitter? No, I'm the sheet slitter's son. Well, you keep on slitting sheets until the sheet slitter comes. <laughs> the shoe shaper then shapes the slit synthetic sheepskin sheets and shoots out shoes through the chute. Now, this is Mr. Plunkett, the new khaki sock plucker. I had to fire our previous sock plucker. He had a bit of an attitude. So you sack the cocky khaki kicky sack sock plucker? The second cocky khaki kicky sack sock plucker I sacked since the six sitting sheet slitter got sick. Whoops, don't worry, just an electrical problem. One of the kicky sack sack pickers will have to flick the plug. Not the khaki sock plucker? Oh my no! The kicky sack pickers flick the plug. The khaki sock plucker can't reach the socket over the latex child perambulator fenders we used to line the treadmill. It might make more sense to have the sixth six sitting sheet slitter's son flick the plug if the sack pickers and the sock pluckers are behind the rubber baby buggy bumpers. I never thought of that. Now, Pinky, here is the plan. Remember, every step must be performed with precision. You must slit the sixth six sheet slitter's son's sheet. Secure it next to the toy boat from the hack and sack socko kicky sack sack kickers picnic in Secaucus. Stretch it past the sack picker station and the sock plucker chute and pick a sack, pluck a sock, and flick the plug so I can put the pee in the plucked sock with the picked sack for ballast and bounce it off the rubber baby buggy bumper into the Parker Packard purple pewter pressure pump. Is that understood? <laughs>